Hello guys, it's me Carlos Santos aka Happy Carlos 957 and welcome to another edition of NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode. So, last night when I was going through this video editing software through iMovie, I realized I lost most of the video file from the cup race, it got corrupted, and I lost most of the race footage. So, the start of the race, the middle of the race, it's all gone, so you'll only be seeing five laps of it, so it's basically in the end of the race, but but hey, it was one of those fantastic Atlanta finishes, so go check that out. So, so right now, you're looking at my truck series qualifying lap so far, and yeah, car's still ner the truck is nervous, but it's really fast though got everything on 100 well not really it's basically 95 all all around the arrow the chassis and the engine so let's see what i'll get 32.022 and that's 27 fastest oh it's 32. Yeah, Airline is not one of my favorite tracks because it's a worn surface, the car's gonna move around a lot, so let's see. Oh well. So the story to race, T Fogelman is not fast. Josh Rayum is after me and Austin Wayne self I believe. Hmm. I don't know what happened to him, but let's move on to the race. So the green flag is out at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. So <sighs> I'm behind my Carmen, which is unacceptable in our high expectations. But we'll be able to pass him once he uh, slows down a bit. So so. Uh, I'm gonna easily pass my Carmen when I get the chance, and I will, and what else, who am else, who else am I gonna pass? Jason White, the Canadian, not Jason White, the former truck driver from Re Regiment, Virginia, so. There was this one race where he almost won, but, man, wasn't able to capitalize on it, so. Oh well. So back to the action. I'm already up to 23rd right now and trying to pass Jordan Anderson. So he was last week's winner from La. Are you sure? Yeah, from Las Vegas. Yep. You know trucks don't race in the Auto Club anymore, and in Phoenix they uh, they raced there on the final race of the season. Along with Xfinity and Cup. So, as far as the COVID 19 thing, they do not mess with the playoff races, just the regular season ones. And some of the racetracks will be getting their dates three times this year. So, Daytona is one of them. So, two in the oval and then one on the road course. So, there you have it. Same thing with Charlotte. Two in the oval, and then one in the road course configuration. So let's see if I can get through. Let's see. I think it's Natalie Decker. Yep, that's Natalie Decker. All right. Whew. Let's see. I'm in the top twenty right now, and I'm trying to stop the leader and. Whew, let's see. And I'm gonna pass Ty Majeski for 19th. I will fast forward this race and I'll see you guys later. And you guys can fast forward to, to the coverage if you want. So.
and we're back so we are on lap 22 so far and it's almost the end of the race so it's a 32 lap race and I want to get to that checker flag as soon as possible so hmm I can't believe Jordan Anderson's up there we have John Massager too yeah let's see if I can get a win from here so um, yeah, it's the first time this season I'm actually running up front in the truck series. And it might not be a winning car, but I was just surprised it's able to hold up. Hold up, I mean. <sighs> How exciting can it get once I get to the... Who's the leader? Yeah, but I think it's Stuart Friesen. And then Tanner Graham passes me on the inside. So. Yep, Stuart Friesen's the leader. Sorry, it's my sister. She's high here in the background, so. <sighs> You guys think I should commentate more or fast forward to the end of the truck race? So. Unless, my, unless my decision is to fast forward, I'll do it now. And we're back, so we're in a uh, regulation right now, not overtime, so two laps to go, I'm in sixth place. In the outside of Brett Moffitt, and I want to be as loud as I want for my commentating to make it feel excitement for you guys, but Alex, or and my niece, has to go to sleep, so yeah. Gotta be quiet for a while. So look at me go under Austin Hill for third place. And then I have to pass Grand Infinger. Which will lead me to having a battle with Zane Smith. For, for the lead. So. so here we go. Turns one and two. I drift up high because I scraped the apron. Or hit the apron. 
I kind of thought scraping was a r the right term, but <laughs> oh well. Ooh, I got a great run on the outside of Grand Anything. <laughs> Ooh, and I bump him a little bit, and I'm gonna finish second to Zane Smith. So that was a running of the v Vet Vet Ticks Camping World 200. So, what did you guys think of the race? Do you give it a 10? 10? Or somewhere in the 5 to 7, 8 ish range? So. so, I'll be doing the cup race right now, but it's only going to be an abbreviated version because I just. my file got corrupted. So, but I'll do the cup race right now. Hello guys, and we're back. So, 
here's my cup qualifying lap around Atlanta Motor Speedway and like I've said before it's not going to be one of my best qualifying laps since it's a four star ride and basically not all ovals are cookie cutter or similar so they present a different challenge and it doesn't it's not going to change in this Atlanta track because it's a bracelet so so here's my qualifying lap and see if I can at least get a good starting spot which is very unlikely because I can still tell by the in-car camera that it's very nervous and in the corners and I kind of get the wall let's see I uh, hug turn stream four very nicely and I let's see what the lap time will be 30.978 don't get my goal time and I qualified dead last let's see how far away hmm. I can't read the lap time but yeah that doesn't matter and Danny Hamlin's your pulse center <laughs> so it's five laps to go. I got the leading. Most of the field has pit already, except me and Ryan Newman. So when will the race end? Will I be able to save fuel or conserve my tires or I don't know what will happen. Once again, that was my knees in the background. And this one, the noises are the noise is on the air, so. <laughs> That's one I record before I hit the bed. Yeah. Golly. Oh, the race ever end. I know I got the lead. What do you suspect? Suspecting the wind? Huh. A long race. Any long laps or slow lap time down here? You got a big tire falling. Trying to get the tire down. Two laps to go. And the cross hit me right now. Past Team Hill and Joe Jason over here. The back markers. Hmm. Oh, Ryan Newman pitted. Oh, and the caution comes right out at the wrong place at the wrong, wrong time. Ugh. I don't know what the caution was for, but that was very disappointing of me. Let's see if I can make a charge in a green white truck. It's so, Timmy Hill. Yeah, the green. He's third right now. And he will finish third. It's green white truck. Me and Ryan Newton up front. Let's see if you the run. I drift up the truck. Ryan Newton. Ryan Newton. I'm not going to be able to sign back to him. But here's Joey Lagano and he's sitting in the building. And I drift up the track once again. That is a disappointment. Yep, looks like Ryan is driving away from me. And the white flag is out for Ryan and me. Me and Alan Santos. <laughs> yeah. That was very disappointing. I'm gonna have to let like, Joey Logano like, go side by side with me. <sighs> After a long race, I lose the lead because of that unfortunate yellow flag situation. So here it is. Ryan's gonna take the checker flag at 
Land of Love Speedway and Life in a Second is not bad for our rich and pretty motorsport car. The 2020 Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500 the speed is 96. Here, here are your race highlights if you guys care about it so much. So, hmm. I'm just selecting a few in case. Here's me passing Danny Hamlin, which is really important because he'll give me a line of track position later on. And here's me passing Joey Logano on the last lap, which was not for position, but just, which didn't mean much, but hey, I got second place. That's me. Uh, it's like dirty. Oh well. Man, that was quite a new nutrition rate. Or not a nutrition, attrition rate. A T T R I T I O. The attrition rate went up. <laughs> Let's see. This should be a good points day. And I'm already up to ninth. Isn't that bad at all? I still need to get that one race where you, you know, lock me into the playoffs by any means. So, Joey Lagana got the fastest lap. Joey Lagana also led the most laps. I gained the most spots from my uh, nearly dead last Sparnik spot. And Martin Truex Jr. lost a lot of spots from his starting spot, so... Man, I got a lot of money out of it. Looks like I'm not gonna get any rivals after all. So, I make a happy car in I-57, and y'all have a good day, and peace out!